This question is what I call, <laughs> it's, um, it's a question that stops you by intimidation. It is not hard at all, right? It's not hard. It just looks, it's meant to look like, are you serious? Like, I don't even know where to begin with this. But the thing is, once you know where to begin, well, that's all there is to it. There's nothing difficult about this question, okay? So before we get anywhere near this question, I wanna ask this question. Uh, we'll, stay with, we'll stay with three, I guess. If I gave you, uh, let's see, if I gave you this question, okay, and said, could you solve for x, right, in, in, in this question here, okay? Most people who've got even a basic understanding of what logs are would be able to answer this question. And I'm going to take that understanding because I think it's the, it's the key to unlocking this question, okay? So how would we go about solving this? Like, what, what steps would you suggest that I do in this question? Do you want to give a suggestion? Yeah, um, 3 to the power of 4 is equal to x. Okay, so I'll just chuck the x on the left-hand side because that's, the, that's what I want to solve for, is 3 to the power of 4. Okay, now, this is exactly right. This is exactly right. And the crucial thing to get is that there's not, in some senses, there's not logic that goes from here to here, right? This is a definition. This is actually what this means, right? Uh, they're just two different ways of looking at the same reality, okay? It's a little bit like me saying, oh, okay, if you see, if you see um, an object like this, right? And I hold up and on one side there's heads, okay? When I turn around and say, ooh, there's tails on the other side, it's like, well, what's the logic between that? And the answer is, there's no logic. It's just that a coin is supposed to have heads on one side and tails on the other. By definition, if heads is on one side, tails be on the other, okay? Now, this is actually just the definition of what a log is, okay? It's a way to look at an exponential equation. That's, that's what this is, okay? And instead of making the value of the whole thing, like three to the power of whatever, instead of making that the subject, what's the subject in this case? is the power. The power is the subject rather than what's the base raised to the power, okay? Now, in this case, three and four, that's just 81, okay? So you've got an answer, happy time. Now, if I understand that, then this question is just three lots of this question, okay? Watch, watch and see. Um, for starters, you notice I got three times some long awful mess, three times something is zero. Okay, three times something. Now this is an equation, so I can do to this equation anything I can do to normal equations. For instance, I can divide both sides by a number, right? That's something you can do with equations. Like if you saw this, you'd divide both sides by two and everything would be fine, okay? So that three out the front, um, <laughs> it's just trying to, it's just like I said, trying to intimidate you, right? It doesn't add anything. I'm gonna divide the left-hand side by three, which means I divide the right-hand side by three. Is that okay? Just an equation. So on the left hand side, what happens to that three out the front? It just disappears, it just goes away. Okay. So I get this, log base three of this awful mess. Good morning. Log base three of log base three of three x. And that's still equal to zero. Are you okay with that? All right, now what you've got here is exactly what I had here, just with the zero on the right hand side, right? So if I just um, change this a little bit, you can see I have log base 3 of something, I'll call that my, my exit here, is equal to 0, right? So therefore, the next line is 3 to the power of 0 should be up there. What's 3 to the power of 0 again? One. It's just 1. In fact, anything to the power of 0 is just 1. Okay. So therefore, what's up in here, this thing here will be... One, right? Log base three of log base three of three x equals three to the zero. Do you see what I've done there? Okay, so I'm trying to, good morning. I've unpacked this log three and this zero have become this three and this zero. See what I've done there? Just like this three and this zero became this three and this zero. Okay, good morning. Okay, now I evaluate, as you just told me a minute ago, 3 to the power of 0 is 1. So I've got 1 on the right hand side. Log base 3 of log base 3 of 3x. Okay. So now what do I do with this? Well, I just, I just keep on peeling off layers of the onion, right? So I've got two more logs to go. Log base 3 of something equals 1. 
That means that the something, that's just what it is in there, it should be equal to, three. yeah, 3 to the power of 1, which of course is 3. Okay, 3 to the power of 1. You see that this 3 to the 1 comes from this 3 to the power of 1. See that? So now I've just got one more step to go. Um, 3 to the power of 1, as we've just noticed, is just 3. So now I can say, well, what's left is 3 to the x, sorry, 3x, which is equal to, good morning, Why? this 3 to the power of this 3, which I think is 27, right? So 3x equals 27. So now I divide both sides by 3, and that gives me 9. Okay? So this is not a hard question. It's a long question. It takes me a while to, to unpack everything here. But every step, I was actually more or less doing the same thing each time. Um, this thing, I was doing this. It's just that because of there being so much stuff in there, it was harder to see. Okay.